In the last chapter, we looked at how we could use sine, cosine, or tangents to help solve right triangle problems. In each of these problems, we were given an angle and a side and asked to find the missing side using trigonometry. Now that we've learned about inverse trig functions, we are equipped to expand the types of problems related to right triangles that we will be able to solve. Let's consider the following right triangle. In this triangle, we are given two sides and asked to find a missing angle. Because this is a right triangle, we can use trigonometry to solve this. The first thing we need to do is to figure out which trig function to use. This is where we use that so Katoa nonsense word. In this case, our unknown angle is here. I don't know the hypotenuse, but I do know that the side opposite from my angle theta is 12, and the side adjacent or next to my angle theta is 19. So I know an opposite side and an adjacent side. Sounds like we need to use the TOA part of our study. Tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Plugging in our values, we have the equation tangent of theta equals 12 over 19. I need to find what angle has a tangent of 12 over 19. We can use the inverse tangent to undo the tangent function to solve for our unknown angle. On the left side, the inverse tangent and tangent functions undo each other, leaving the theta alone. On the right side, this is not one of our commonly known tangent values, so use your calculator to evaluate. Inverse tangent, 12 over 19. 32.28 degrees. Um, or 0.5633 radians, depending on if your calculator is in radian or degree mode. Generally, we like to use radians when working with circles or function graphs, but we prefer degrees when we're working with triangles. So the best answer here would be theta equals 32.28 degrees.